My unsung hero of science is Henrietta Lacks, a woman whose cells have revolutionised science and research since 1951. But who was she, and why are her cells so special? After feeling a knot in her womb, Henrietta was admitted to hospital. This was soon diagnosed as cervical cancer, and when her treatment began, unknown to her, doctors were taking two samples of her cells, one healthy sample and one cancerous. Sadly, Henrietta died on October the 4th after her tumour metastasized. But her leading doctor, George Gay, continued to monitor the cells and noticed something unusual happening. The cancerous cells were multiplying rapidly and not dying because the cells were not undergoing apoptosis. This was unprecedented and her cells soon became the start of the HeLa immortal cell line. Her cells were only labelled with the first two initials of her name because this is how black patients were treated in America in the 1950s. Using the roller tube technique to culture the HeLa cells, the cells soon got transported globally, reproducing at a rate of 6 trillion per week. These were the first human cells to ever be successfully cloned, and the original tumour cells are still reproducing now. Worldwide, HeLa cells have helped develop vaccines for HPV, polio, mumps and measles, just to name a few, as well as helping scientists research into AIDS, Ebola, radiation effects and the discovery that humans have 46 chromosomes. However, all the experiments and research took place without consent from Henrietta nor her family, who were unaware of any of this until the 1970s. This was ethically problematic since she was violated as her privacy was not considered. However, the worldwide impact of her cells has led to incredible discoveries and saved many lives and will continue doing so, evidently making her and her cells unsung heroes of science.